Hi, everybody. Welcome to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this episode, we continue work on this beautiful Pearson Ensign. And today we're gonna to concentrate on the rudder. When we first got the boat here, I talked with the owner about it. I had some very serious concerns. And so today we're gonna to tackle that. As it worked out, I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do, but once I got into it, started sanding on part of it and examining it, uh, it became pretty clear what we needed to do. And I'm happy to say that the existing wood structure that is uh, the rudder was very much saveable. So anyway, we didn't have to tear it all apart and rebuild one. We'll be, we're able to work on this one and get it going. So anyway, we're glad you're here. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This particular project is one of many on our channel. So dig around and see what else you might like. If you do like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. And uh, if you would consider subscribing to the channel, that helps us greatly. All right, let's uh, get under the boat, see what we got to do to fix this rudder. So now we're looking at the rudder right here. And um, I've got some concern about it, especially this down here. There's a big crack there. I don't know how they made these rudders, but it appears that there's a line that runs all the way up to here. I don't know if you can see that at the top. It comes all the way up here. And then there's another one that I can see that looks like it runs down here. And what that tells me is that I think they made this in three pieces. Um, it's not terrible. But your rudder, obviously, is one of the most important parts of the boat. Um, I don't believe this here was original. This is, another fella has, has put these little steel plates on here in an effort to hold this together. And there's, there's one on both sides. I'm going to kind of clean this up just a little bit. See if we can get a better idea of what's going on here. I just got a water and alcohol solution that I'm using to just kind of clean this off. It's being held together by barnacles. Blue paint coming off on my hand. No, oh, that's great. Huh. It's kind of a curious setup here got a effectively a pintle here and then the whole thing the rudder post sets down into a slot down here in the bottom of the keel there this sticks out past this so in other words it comes out like this and then this bubbles out can't see it the other side's a little more fair but it's got the same crack the crack runs all the way through there see right here that's the same crack as that other side and you can you can see uh, I am convinced that these are different couple of different pieces of wood I think, I think what we'll do, we can really see it on the camera. <laughs> this piece here, there's a little indentation there, right there. I 
and then all the way up to here. What I'm gonna do is, is uh, sand this a little bit and try to get that smoothed out. Clearly this other side where it's bubbled out, I wanna get that knocked down just a little bit. I'm scared to see what I'm gonna get into if I start sanding on it. It looks better now that it's cleaned up. <laughs> Got my new Chiefs hat, we won the Super Bowl. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna think about it for a little bit. So I have sanded out several areas of concern. This one down here troubles me some. Some of that wood's not in great shape. You see all that cracking in it. It's pretty solid on the other side, or at least there's not degradation there. I almost wonder if this little fix with this strap and that bolt going through there allowed water to get in. I don't know. It could just be coincidence. I've got this sanded up here where there's a crack right there and it goes all the way through to the other side. And our biggest area of concern is down here. But we've got the bottom fared out so that the boards are even on the bottom. So I'm gonna mix up some thickened epoxy. And we're gonna go in there and fare all this out. Try to get some epoxy crammed in those cracks. And then once we do that, we'll put some fiberglass tape on some of these areas. That especially down there is also troublesome, but I still believe it's savable and that's what we're gonna do is save it. I do like this West System epoxy. Good stuff. I'm gonna mix this up good for about three minutes, two minutes anyway, and then we'll start adding our uh, total boat silica in it. Got up on the highway, slid sideways, turned around and came home. What is today? February 16th, 2023. I guess it's supposed to be like this on, in February. Oh yeah, we're there now. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> and I believe I'm gonna go get some gloves, except I'm already all blue. I'm turning into a Smurf. All that paint on that rudder, I, just, I can't seem to get it off of myself. All right, so we're gonna use this thickened epoxy. And we're just gonna fill in all these places. When I started sanding on this, I see all this white in here. It makes me think they put these pieces together with 5200, 3M, 5200. It's good stuff. It's a sealer, it's good underwater, and it does not come loose. Only problem with it is every time I've ever used it, I don't know why, but I just get it all over myself. It's like eating spaghetti with a new tie on. Okay. I 
I'm trying to do a couple of things here. I'm trying to seal all this. I'm trying to cram it in the cracks and I'm using it like a fairing compound. I thought about using the total boat, uh, total fare, and then decided against it. And part of the reason is because I can accomplish the same thing with this, but I do want to put some pieces of fiberglass over this. So once we get all this on here, I'm gonna go get some scraps of fiberglass cloth and put over this. The other thing about this though that I really want to do is I want to try to get it smoothed out as much as I can when I'm putting it on here because it's kind of a bear to sand. Um, the, the total fare is much, much more sandable. So I'm trying to get any ridges or anything like that out of here. But at the same time, I don't want to pull it out of the cracks or anything else. So just kind of trying to be real gentle with it. And at the same time, get it smooth. Now this is this is this one spot that was really troubling. So I'm going to put that on there pretty thick. And I don't know what's going on here. There's a little, I didn't get it sanded down smooth, but I kind of didn't want to. I'm just going to fill that in and fair it. I don't know what's going on there. That's not where the two pieces of wood come together. But we're just going to seal it up. Okay. Now let's hit the other side. I've had all kinds of ideas about how to fix this. Until you get in there and just kind of start working on it. You don't really know what you're up against. It is definitely mahogany. I'm just 99% sure of that. It's going good. See this big crack down here? I'm gonna try to cram it right in that crack. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm not sure the sound effects were necessary, but. A little indentation right there. Quite honestly on that one, I'd probably be better with a little bit wider spat, but we're gonna make it work. And anywhere I've got bare wood exposed, I'm coating it. I have some fiberglass cloth just laying around, scraps of it. This almost looks like something I, yeah, this is something I cut off uh, when I fiberglass the last canoe that I built. I'm thinking to take one of these and just come over the top here. I am going to be glad I've got on gloves now. I'm just trying to cut these little loose strings off of here. Those can be a bear to sand too. All right, I think fiberglass a lot of times doesn't like to go around corners, but I think I think I can just put this right up over here and just come right down like that. And that should keep us keep us from having water get in through the top of there. Now we just need a little tiny piece to put on here. Oh, 
And we're going to get some other uh, epoxy and put on here because the cloth should dissolve and be like see-through. We shouldn't be able to see anything. Now we got a pretty big area here, but I think I'm going to be able to wrap up and come around from the bottom on that one too. That's going to catch that bottom part of that where it wasn't matching up. I actually want another little piece to go up in front of that. I want just a small little piece right there. Gotta do something up there. I am now glad I'm wearing gloves. The only problem with it is you can't feel it when you get it on you, and then you go to pick up a little piece of fiberglass and then it's a mess. All right, we're doing great. I need a little bit here and here and there. One thing good about kind of letting it sit on here like that, where the thick, sitting on top of that thickened epoxy, is that it's kind of starting to get sealed down just a little bit. So when I come back over this, just with some just regular, not mixed or not thickened epoxy, just regular, because um, uh, I'll come back on with a, a chip brush and just go over these and. Uh, get them wetted out but they they shouldn't want to move all over the place because they're already kind of getting stuck down so that's good all right so now we've just got some regular epoxy um, and we're just going to go over these and try to get this cloth wetted out the rest of the way And we're already picking up strings. Very good. Very good. You can't turn the camera off. Maybe with that finger. Spent a couple hours sanding this morning and then had some spray enamel, rust oleum. We may run a little, another little coat on there. It's so close to the color it was, it's perfect. <laughs> Just had it here in the shop. We really got that at least 90% better than it was. I'm convinced that structurally it's way better. If you like the video, 
Remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.